Stadnik Aquatics here. This is my little cigar lounge. Most people have seen it, but I do have new subscribers and a lot of people don't go back through old videos, it seems. They just look at the new stuff. So anyway, this is my little cigar lounge. It works really, really well. I have French doors that go out into my backyard. And the main thing in here is that I took a closet in here and I converted it into a walk-in humidor. So what I'm gonna do this morning is run through some of the cigars I have in here. And as you get in here, it's about six foot wide from side to side. It's just a little under three feet front to back. And it does have vaulted ceilings, which go nine foot four inches high. And so I have quite a few cigars in here. This stuff on the floor belongs to my son. He moved and we're trying to get stuff situated for him. So that's kind of on the side. I have my humidification system down there. Uh, the electronic portion of it is right here. And then the sensor is on the other end. I basically have three shelves, one, two, three, and then I have a bundle rack, and then I also have a couple of shelves up top on both ends. So it's basically a four shelf system is what it is. And starting on the bottom down here, we're just gonna run through these. I'm gonna go kind of quick if I can. These are J Fuegos. Um, and these are delirium. They're not a very expensive cigar. They are a Maduro and they're they're pretty good I kind of I kind of like them um, These here I just started getting recently. These are H Upman's these are the, these are the 1844 reserves But I like them because you can you can put this in your pocket and you can carry them with you and they're a nice quick smoke I'm gonna shut this door otherwise a humidification system is gonna come on and make a lot of noise. These here, a lot of people don't like Gurkha cigars, but they create a tremendous amount of cigars. And this is one of theirs that I do really like, is the Gurkha, the Governor's Blend. Um, it's a dark Maduro. It is a fairly good cigar, but it's not high end. It's not real, really expensive. And Sancho Panza, this is the Double Maduro. This is an excellent cigar. I believe this has been rated. If you haven't had this one, I would say try it because it is worth trying. And I believe Sancho Panza is one of those producers that they make a cigar that is rated really high and consistent, but they don't charge a tremendous amount of money for it. So kind of nice to have something like that on the market. Um, these are LFDs. There's four different ones in here, Live Floor Dominicas. Um, there's a double Lajero, there's a Lajero, and I'd have to go through and look really close and see exactly what all of those are. This one here, these are the Macanudo um, Inspirato Whites. And the reason I like the Inspirato Whites is because they're great in the morning with a cup of coffee. They're a mild cigar, but they have really good flavor. I do enjoy those. Um, and this is the one that I, every time I make a video on this, somebody corrects me on my pronunciation. So I'm just going to let you read it. There's his first name, there's his last name, and this is Genesis the Project. Picked them up on Cigar Bid. These here are a box of Cubans that I picked up. These are the Ramon Alones and Havana's, and they are made in Havana, Cuba. So I'm letting them age. I haven't had one yet. Uh, I will have another box of Cubans here, hopefully within the week. And these here, I do like these. These are the Punch London Clubs, and they're nice quick smoke. They're... They're just a really good, and Punch has been around forever. They're just a typical, typical Punch cigar. And I do kind of like these. These are the Perdomo um, Sun Grown. Oh, these are the Bourbon Barrel Age Sun Grown Habanos. And they do each one come in their own little box. And now this is, um, it is not an infused, this is not a flavored cigar. This is an infused cigar, if you will, because they basically cure the tobacco in the rum keg and that's how it gets those flavors and cao brasilia's excellent cigar very very good i highly recommend it i haven't ran into anybody who doesn't like those these are individual cigars that i need to go through a lot of them i need to review um, you get on the second shelf i have olivas and these are the connecticut reserves these are a great cigar for in the morning they're just a really good little and they're a petite corona so they're really good one in the morning these here are sancho panzas these are the standard sancho panzas and they do make a lonsdale which is my favorite size and that also is rated these are the La Aurora Barrel Aged. I like the La Aurora Barrel Aged. I 
think I like them a little better than these down here, but I'm not, it's kind of hard to say. So anyway, they are pretty good. And these need no introduction. These are the Padron 1964 Anniversary Series. I bought these when I found out I was going to get a granddaughter and I had one cigar within, oh, about a week of the day that she was born. So that's kind of bought those for her. And these here are the Olivia, Oliva Series V. This is the size, it's a little hard to find. These are the bigger sizes, I forget exactly. That's like a, what size are those? These are the Double Toros, and there's 10 of them in there. So the Double Toros are a little hard to find. They're a very, very good cigar. Um, these are the Oliva Series V Bolognios. If you haven't had them, I would highly recommend them. Uh, these are Thompson's Rome Twist. I take them to work with me, and as you see, I am out. Um, quite a few cigars in here. I'm not going to go through them now. Maybe I'll do a little little video of those. Swag, Monte Cristo, uh, Flathead, C CAO Flathead 660s, um, Romeo. So there's a lot of really good cigars in there. These little guys are by Nat Sherman's. They're good if you're going to some function. You can throw them in your pocket, and they're, they're not too bad. Uh, I really, really like these uh, Pure Authentic of Man of Wars. They're just, these are a strong little cigar, and they're just an amazing cigar. A.J. Fernandez, this is kind of his, his favorite one that he carried with him for years, and he finally made it available to the public. Um, these are also by Man of War, and I believe these are the War Horse. Big cigar, so you gotta have a lot of time to smoke one of those. Um, and then I have some Dulce Vita Sweet Tip Cigarillos, so they're not too bad. Uh, these are the Padron Sample Pack, and this is the um, number 88 Sample Pack. And you get one of each of the various Padrones. So, pretty good way to do it. Uh, Thompson's Explorers, good to throw in your pocket, have with a cup of coffee. And these are the Padron Lonsdale's Maduro. I really like this cigar, it's very good. Um, these are the Partagas Black Label in the tubes. Haven't had one yet, I'm letting them age. Um, we'll leave a Connecticut Reserve. That's the same as the little Petite Coronas, but these are, I believe, a Robusto, I think. No, that's got to be a Toro. That's too big for a Robusto. Um, this is the Cohiba Piro Dominicana. I do like those. I think they have the very, very unique flavor from any other cigar. These are not real good. I take them fishing with me once in a while. Um, I wouldn't recommend buying these. These are... The 1898 Corona Largus, it's just, they look good, but they're not as good. Now these, I bought these, these are good. These are the Victor Sinclair Bohemians, and this is a large cigar, of course. Um, Victor Sinclair Bohemian, pretty good cigar. Uh, Macanudo Maduros, I do like those. Those are the Prince Phillips. These are less expensive one. This is the Victor Sinclair Tusker. They're good to take fishing or put in the boat. Um, we're in the shop, and this is actually by a Gurkha, and this is the Hudson Bay Red Skies. I have a few individuals up here you can see, and then as I said, I have some individuals down here, and some singles down here, and then up top, these are some inexpensive, cheaper cigars that I'm going to do reviews on sometimes. I do smoke these pretty regular. These are the Cuban Delight, Cuban Rounds. Um, this is the Maduro. It's, they're, they're not too bad. There's some cheroots here. Um, and some of these cigars are a little, are not as good. These are the Black Label Thompson's. These are good. These here, right here, these are seconds, factory seconds. They're actually Oliva Connecticut factory overruns. I would recommend buying those. Those, those are actually pretty good. Um, and these here, Florida de Filipinas, eh, not, not great. Uh, more Florida Filipinas, he's in the wrong spot. Something else up here. Yeah, these are the Macanito Inspirado Blacks, which are an interesting cigar. I kind of like them. And then these here are just a quick smoke. These are the Griffins. And then up here I have some Macanito Inspirado Whites. And what, oh, Partigas. I have some Partigas Black Label 1845s up here in that one. And then the last one, these are the Rock, Rocky Patel Vintage 1992 in tubes. So, that's kind of quick, um, but I thought I would give you a tour of this thing and let you know what I do have. I have quite a few cigars to choose from right now. It took about two years to fill this thing. 
and I think it looks really, really well. It's working perfect. The humidity is working great. I really appreciate it. I really enjoy it. And I'll be looking for a cigar review out uh, next Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Mountain Time. So this is Dudnick Aquatics, and thanks for watching.